Williams from the corner. Oh, he can knock down threes, Kenny. Now he's going to go back door. Oh, what a feed. <laughs> feed to Ume, who goes up for the slam. Devin Lilly drives, pulls up, fires home a two. I'll tell you, man, you cannot underestimate the hustle this big man gives you. Strap in your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Marsh Madness in full swing in the state of Michigan as we get set for this regional semifinal between the Gross Point South Blue Devils and the Dakota Cougars. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brad Futters for Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Getting you set for this round of 32 matchup. Let's meet the starters first for the Gross Point South Blue Devils. It'll be number three, Mac Red MVP, Anthony Bernard. Number four, Vincent Vachon. Number 10, Noah Steyer. Number 11, first team, all Mac Red, Carter Richards. And number 33, second team, all Mac Red, six foot eight senior, Alex English. Gross Point South is coached by Steve Bernard. As for our Dakota Cougars, they'll line up this way. Zero, Kelvin Watson. Number one, B.J. Jackson. Number two, Owen Colpert. Number 12, Nathan Washburn. And number 30, the senior, Lorenzo Alfred. Cougars, under the guidance of Paul Tokyo, come into play tonight with a 9-15 record. Wins over Port Huron and Port Huron Northern in the district. Back-to-back -back district championships for this Cougars squad. Really an impressive game against Port Huron Northern. An 80-77 to final. A little bit of revenge there for the Cougars as they fell to the Huskies 64-54 in the opening round of the MAC tournament. Come back and beat them in the district championship and get a spot here in tonight's regional semifinal. These two teams familiar with one another. They matched up three times this season. All three games going the way of the Blue Devils. We'll talk about that a little bit further on in tonight's broadcast. Dakota in their home white jerseys. The Blue Devils clad in blue with gold numerals and south across the chest. Alex English going to tip things up with Nathan Washburn. Dakota wins the tip. Opening possession of the ball game. Here we go. A berth in the regional finals at stake. They'll take on the winner of the De La Salle Pilots. De La Salle winning the other semifinal against Lance Cruz, 76-36. Owen Colpert getting the official to change the call there is the three-pointer was no good, and possession will stay with Dakota. V.J. Jackson coming off a 16-point performance in that game against Port here on Northern. Lorenzo Alfred hands off to V.J. Jackson, who calls out the play between the circles. Being guarded there by Noah Steyer. Alfred kicks it out to Jackson, three-pointer on the way, too strong. Rebounded by Anthony Bernard. Bernard coming off a triple-double. As he hangs, can't hit. Bernard had 22 points, 10 assists, and 11 rebounds. And their 68-45 victory over Harper Woods and their district title victory. Offensive rebound controlled by Dakota. Jackson three from the corner, no good. Cold shooting start so far for Dakota. Bernard walks it off. He's a Mercer commit. Was first team All-State a season ago. Drives in, pulls up, rattles home the jumper, and it gives the Blue Devils the early 2-0 lead. Bernard, the six foot one senior, as good as advertised. His running mate, Carter Richards, just as 
good, especially in that semifinal victory over Roseville. As Richards had 21 points and six boards and their 49-45 victory over the Panthers. I'm gonna get Kelvin Watson there for the charge. So it gives the possession over to Gross Point South. They lead it, 2-0, minute 45, gone by opening quarter of play. There's Carter Richards, six foot two junior. He'll be back next season. Another pull up jumper for Bernard, no good. Richards taps it around. Noah Steyer able to control it. They kick it around the perimeter. Richards drives momentarily. Now kicks it over to the right wing side for Bernard. Oh boy, three pointer from the parking lot short. Lorenzo Alfred comes up with the defensive rebound. Outlets it ahead to Owen Colpert on the left hand side. Makes his way around the defender and lays it in. Colpert, the first bucket of the game for the Cougars. Tie score, 2-2. High pass to Bernard, being guarded there by much taller Kelvin Watson. Three on the way from Steyer, right wing. Misses its mark. Last touch by the Blue Devils. Dakota basketball. So we mentioned, Gross Point South winning all three games this year. A 56-28 trouncing at home back on January 20th as there's a Carter Richards intercept. The game here at Dakota was a little closer, 66-59 the final. And then these two teams hooked up in the Mac Red White crossover tournament. And that game went the way of the Blue Devils, 64-47. So the average margin of victory this season for Gross Point South over Dakota, 17.3 points per game. Needless to say, the three games this season between these two teams have not been close. And they're gonna get Lorenzo Alford there for an offensive foul, will push off the call. His first. Second offensive foul now called against Dakota. Bernard slowly brings it up the floor. Gets the screen, kicks it over to the left-hand side. Gets the basketball right back. Alex English trying to set up in the post position. And Nathan Washburn able to bring down the rebound. Washburn coming off a terrific performance as Colpert hoists and hits from distance. Colpert coming off a 15-point performance against Port Huron. Has their first five points here tonight for Dakota. We mentioned that game for Nathan Washburn against the Huskies. How about 24 and 16? 24 points and 16 boards for Nathan Washburn. Triple try answered right back there by Noah Steyer. First three point bucket of the night for the Blue Devils. Gives them the lead right back, 7-5. 3.53 left to go, first quarter of play. B.J. Jackson with the crossover dribble. He's being guarded there by Vincent Vachon. They kick it down low, too wide. Nathan Washburn couldn't accept the pass in the post as the pass sailed out of bounds. Offensive fouls and turnovers proving to be costly here in the early parts of this basketball game for Dakota. Richards back out three, no good. Rattles off the front rim, refuses to fall there for Bernard. Alfred into the front court, leaves a drop pass for Colpert. Colpert needs some of his teammates to get involved in the scoring as he has all five of the Cougar points. A little reach and foul committed there by Bernard. First team foul against Gross Point South. And official asking Owen Colpert to tuck in his jersey a little bit better. That's the pause in the action. Appears to be okay now. Alfred to trigger on this near sideline. Drops it into the backcourt for VJ Jackson. Watson draws a little bit of a double team. Cougars ring it around the perimeter. Now dump it down low to Washburn. A gather there. Held up momentarily. And then Foul committed against the Blue Devils. Gonna get Alex English, the six foot eight senior. Six 
See the very first sub of the game is Richards. Nope, check that. Alex English is going to check out. Peter Uku into the game. Terrific drop on the inbound to Colbert. Colbert with all seven. Tied up at seven apiece. Bernard around a defender and you get a foul call against Dakota. Gonna get Colbert there for the foul, his first. Team third is a shooting foul, so they'll put Anthony Bernard on the line. First free throws of the game for either team. Bernard knocks down the first. And converts on the second. So Bernard will take a seat, replaced in the lineup by Adam Zarnick. So a drop off in the offensive production here for the Blue Devils. As Bernard will take a seat. See if the Cougars can take advantage of his absence. B.J. Jackson with the basketball on the right hip. Floats and pass to Colpert now between the rings. Colpert directs traffic. Being guarded there by Noah Steyer. Begins the drive, gets cut off. Now we had a foul away from the basketball. Both teams now with three personal fouls. VJ Jackson checking out. Keelan Jackson into the game for Dakota. A late season addition to this roster from the JV, where it's 15 for Dakota. A little acrobatic shot there by Alfred, doesn't go. South looking to run. A deep three, misses short. Misses everything, in fact. And now we're going to get a foul call. Nope, they're going to say out of bounds. Oku uh, unable to save it. And Jackson, terrific job of boxing out. Thought perhaps a foul call was going to go against him. But they'll say out of bounds. Possession over to Dakota. Washburn. Going to quickly get, go down into that left block position. Passes out of it. Gather step there by Watson. A dump off pass. No good. Is Alfred unable to convert at the basket? Now goes up and under. Gets his own rebound. Now looks to dump it out. Jackson. Long deuce, no good, tapped around. Alfred, third offensive rebound, now gets called for the travel. It was a short rest for Bernard as he checks back into this game. A couple subs getting ready to check back in for South. Vincent Vachon takes a seat at the scorer's table along with Alex English. Bernard, crossover dribble. Up top, Zarnik. Richards drives, baseline, hangs and hits. What a one-two combination in the backcourt for this Blue Devils team. Two first team all Mac Red guards. Arguably the best backcourt in the state of Michigan. As there's an intercept by Keelan Jackson. A little step through, can't finish at the net. Washburn had the offensive rebound momentarily, then had his pocket picked. Blue Devils up four, looking to add. Bernard, cut off, unable to drive. Richards has it, crossover dribble, three on its way is good. Carter Richards with seven points to lead all Blue Devil scorers. Gross Point South has doubled up Dakota now, 14-7. 33 seconds remaining first quarter. Jackson traveled. He hesitated momentarily, wanted to feed the big man, Nathan Washburn, and instead took too many steps and traveled. Trent Morin into the game. 
for Dakota, giving them a little more size. Allen Browning, the senior, in as well. So 10 and 11 into the game for Dakota. Placing Alfred and Washburn. Bernard dumps it off down low, and a block shot by Allen Browning. Just .3 seconds on the clock here for Gross Point South. This will have to be some sort of desperation play as that shot sails wide. One quarter in the books with the Gross Point South Blue Devils on top by the score of 14 to seven. Good time to let our viewers know that new for the 2022-23 school year is a totally redesigned MHSAA website. The address is the same, just go to MHSAA.com for all your news, scores, schedules, and more. The new site works great on mobile devices and makes tournament information even easier to find. Plus get all the features, stories, and finals recaps right on the front page. Check out the new MHSAA.com. So Carter Richards, seven of the girls' points south, 14 points. Owen Colpert, all seven of Dakota's points. So the Cougars going to have to get some secondary scoring from somewhere. Allen Browning, Trent Morin, Keelan Jackson, along with Kelvin Watson and Owen Colpert, the five on the floor right now for Dakota to start the second quarter of play. A much bigger lineup on the floor right now for head coach Toku. Carter Richards dumps it into the corner for Bernard, drives baseline, tries to draw the foul, in fact gets the call. It's going to go against Kelvin Watson. So Bernard to the free throw line, already a perfect two for two from the line. It's a gross point south Blue Devil team that really gets it done with defense. Giving up just 49 points per game. To go along with the 60 points they've scored this season. They're 20 and four on the year. They won a perfect 10 and 0 in Mac Red play. If you watch any of our broadcasts all season long here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television, you know, as we have stressed it all season long, just how difficult it is to go a perfect 10-0 in league play, and that's exactly what the Blue Devils did. Dakota able to beat the timeline and just can't get the ball to go in. Trent Morin had an easy look at the basket and couldn't get the layup to fall. Very stressful time in this basketball game right now for Dakota. Down nine, they can ill afford to go down double digits. It's Girls Point South Blue Devil team, the real deal. And Anthony Bernard just absolutely picked the pocket of Jackson and he gets the ball to fall. And Paul Tokyo gonna take a timeout to talk things over. And not liking what he saw on the floor out of his Dakota squad as Bernard quickly scores four straight points. Lead swells up to 11, 18, seven our score, six, 54 left to go in the first half. As for Dakota, a 9 and 15 record up to this point. Finish 4 and 6. Finishing 4th in the Mac Red, having to win a game against Roseville late in the season to qualify for the Mac Red White crossover tournament. It was their lone victory. 
In their last nine regular season games, as the Cougars dropped eight of their last nine. A terrific find down low to Trent Morin. So expectations for Dakota in postseason play weren't very high. But then to go in and beat Port here on 62-46. And then that rematch against Port here on Northern. What an alley-oop play. Back door cut by Alex English. And the perfect feed out of the right hand of Anthony Bernard. So the 80-77 district championship victory for the Cougars of report here on Northern. And quite a back and forth seesaw contest. Second personal foul against Noah Steyer. Fourth on the team. Mike Wooters, along with Matthew Bomarito, gonna be the two guards on the floor right now for the Cougars. Tough pass along the baseline, Colbert couldn't save it. So Coach Toko working with a lot of different combinations in this basketball game to try to find something that's gonna work here. He's gone to an oversized big lineup, now he goes a little smaller. As he's getting ready for a couple of his starters to check back into this game. Alex English from distance, no good. A little bit of an air ball there as Jackson comes down and goes coast to coast and one! <laughs> Terrific take there by Jackson. Gonna get the foul call against Anthony Bernard. It's his second personal foul. So quickly now, Bernard in a little bit of foul trouble. As Keelan Jackson, the sophomore, finishes off the old fashioned three point play. A little quick three points there. And Cougars back within single digits now. 20 to 12 our score. Bernard shakes and bakes, goes hard to the rim. And following up the miss with a make, Nate Davey, six foot five junior, recently brought into this basketball game, and now Dakota called for a travel. Gross Point South getting scores now from five different players. The switch, good screen, allow Richards to get open. He misses off the back heel. VJ Jackson able to save it from going over the end line. Gross Point South disagreed with that call. No harm, no foul. As Bernard comes down with the rebound. Gross Point South quickly ahead in transition. And it's Alex English with the stick back. 24-12. 4.35 left to go in the first half. Cougars looking for an offensive possession to go their way here, and they're gonna get called for another travel as the turnovers are starting to pile up. Watson and Colbert into the game. So it's the starting five. On the floor right now for Dakota. Down 12 points. Richards on this near side. Dumps it down low to English, no good. Bernard can't get it to fall. Vashan brings it back out. Nate Davey drives into the baseline, kicks it out for English. Corner pocket three, no good. Tracked down there by Colbert. Crossover, reach in by Richards, no cause. Colpert able to spin out of it. Colpert over to Watson. He decides to drive. Tough pass to Alfred. Jackson back out to Colpert. The extra pass, and it's blocked. Watson shot blocked there by English. Now Watson over to Jackson, three. No good. Bernard rips it down. 
Bernard, a little hesitation dribble. Kicks it out to Vashon. Three on its way, in and out. Watson comes down with it. Quickly up ahead, left it for Alfred. Back out to Colpert. Three, no good. Tapped around off the back there of Watson. Possession, the Blue Devils. And Gross Point going to take a timeout. It'll be a full timeout. Gross Point South, 13 and one in their last 14 games. And maybe the most impressive stat that I could come up with is the fact that Gross Point South is a perfect eight and O on the road this season. Their district championship win over Harper Wood, 68-45, was the first district championship for the Blue Devils since 1992. So 31 years in the making. As for Dakota, as I mentioned, back-to-back -back district titles for the Cougars, getting the opportunity to play here tonight on their home floor. This round of 32 will be trimmed in half. We'll be down to 16 teams by the end of tonight. As I mentioned, the winner of tonight's game will take on the De La Salle Pilots, top five team in the state of Michigan. They easily cruise over the Lancers of Lance Cruz, 76-36, the final score in our first regional semifinal. Bernard, pull-up jumper, no good. Lorenzo Alford up ahead to Kelvin Watson. Streaks down the middle of the floor. Hangs, couldn't hit. And it's Nate Davey that wipes it down. Leaves it for Carter Richards. Up ahead to Bernard on the right wing. Kicks it back out to Davey. A little four outlook. Coming around the curl, kick Carter Richards. Turns down the screen, fires a pass to Davey. Vashon, good ball movement here out of the Blue Devils. They get it over to Bernard in the far corner, no good. Not a real good shooting night so far for the Blue Devils. It's probably the only thing that's kept Dakota in this basketball game as Nate Washburn able to get the floater to fall. Bernard spins. VJ Jackson comes down with the rebound. Jackson looks up the floor into the corner for Alfred, gets it right back, right wing side. Back over to Alfred in front of the Blue Devil bench. Skip pass up top to Watson, over to Jackson now. Jackson holds the ball above his head and floats a pass into the corner in there for Owen Colpert. Colpert begins the drive, hangs, hits, and one! Colpert leading all Cougars in scoring with nine. He has single-handedly kept the Cougars in this game. Alex English and Adam Zarnick back into the game for the Blue Devils. Bernard back to the bench. As Colpert gets the freebie to fall, 24-17. 90 seconds remaining in the first half. Somebody forgot about Uku, and he blows the lay-in. Colpert. To Watson, 15-footer on its way, pure. Watson's first bucket of the night. And just like that, the Cougars within shouting distance, within five points. Home crowd making some noise. Student section urging their faithful on here tonight with a chant of defense. Carter Richards over to the right wing side. Alex English rolls to the bucket. Vashon three on its way, no good. Off the back iron, Lorenzo Alfred to the front court. Leaves it there for Jackson. 
Over to Colpert on the left wing side. Colpert being guarded by Richards. Colpert looks back at his home bench. Gets the instructions now from his head coach, Paul Toko. Colpert dribbles with the left hand. Out to Alfred, over to Jackson. Three, too strong, saved into the hands of Alfred. Kicks it back out to Jackson. Extra pass over to Washburn. Washburn backs down to the defender. Alfred's three, no good. And a box out, push call there on Carter Richards. As the official will say to Nathan Washburn. Had cleared him out. And Richard had used the body to create some separation. And now Washburn crosses his heart. The official giving Nathan Washburn some instruction there. And Nathan Washburn crossing his heart as if to say, I'm being truthful. So the first half of the one and one's good. So Washburn earns a second. An opportunity to make this a one possession game. In and out. Bernard over to Vashon, three, no good. Cougars outscoring the Blue Devils in the second quarter, 13-10, but it'll be Gross Point South that takes the 24-20 lead into the halftime intermission. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back with the start of the second half of play right here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. These are some facts about youth alcohol use. While the good news is that underage drinking has declined over the years, rates of youth alcohol use are still high. 30% of 12th graders in the United States reported drinking in the past month. Alcohol use by teens frequently involves binge drinking. Regular alcohol use can damage the developing teen brain, creating problems with learning, memory, and processing information. Youth alcohol use is associated with other negative consequences, including poor school performance, injury and death from car crashes, suicide, mental health issues, and use of other drugs. The majority of those diagnosed with an alcohol use disorder in adulthood began drinking by the age of 18. Welcome back inside Dakota High School Regional Semifinals of the 2023 MHSAA Boys Varsity Tournament. Gross Point South with the 24-20 lead over our Dakota Cougars. Cougars led by Owen Colpert's 10 points. Gross Point South leading scorer Anthony Bernard with eight. Gross Point South has had a double digit lead in this basketball game, but it was a valiant effort by the Cougars in that second quarter to come back. They have pulled now within four points. Blue Devils with the opening possession of the second half. Alex English back out, wide open three. Steyer misses short. Washburn comes down with the rebound. B.J. Jackson walks it up the floor. Goes over to Alfred now on the left wing. Colpert draws the double team. Little circus shot. Can't get it to fall. Gets his own rebound. That too refuses to go. And now we got a tie up with the alternating possession arrow favoring the Cougars. Cold shooting night for Gross Point South has allowed the Cougars to kind of hang around in this basketball game. Dakota's had their chances at the rim as well, including on this very possession. The Cougars have made one three-pointer that came out of the hands of Owen Colpert. Watson drives, pull-up jumper no good. 
A terrific rebound by Washburn. Washburn picking up where he left off. And that district championship win over Port here on Northern. Bashan goes back to Bernard. English catches along the perimeter. Five outlook here for Gross Point South as Bernard is yet to heat up. He is yet to can a three. Gross Point South has two in the game. And right now, Nathan Washburn really feeling it in that post position. Four quick points for Washburn. Four quick points for the Cougars. We're tied up at 24 apiece. Patient offensive possession here for the Blue Devils. Richards works his way around the screen. Got fouled in the process of shooting. Cougar bench can't believe it, and perhaps rightfully so. But either way, Richards will go to the line to shoot two. Richards spins the basketball once in his hands, dribbles once, fires, and hits. Peter Uku into the game. So it's a split at the line for Carter Richards. Blue Devils regain the lead, 25-24. B.J. Jackson going the wrong way, now picks up the dribble. Able to find Washburn. The trap comes back to bite the Blue Devils there. As Owen Colpert got the lay in to go. And now we got a technical foul call. So Colper for Dakota and Noah Steyer of Gross Point South both get saddled with technical fouls. So both of those players now have three personals. Steve Bernard, the head coach of Gross Point South, will sit Noah Steyer. It's replaced in the lineup by Alex English. So the Blue Devils go big. Oku over to Vashan, a little hesitation. Now out to English and work it into the corner for Bernard. Oku tried to find English along the baseline. Now tapped out there, Colbert couldn't retain possession. Richards over to Vashan, catches, fires over Bernard on the far side. English, corner pocket three, too strong. Richards comes down with the rebound, pocket pass. Oh boy, was that pretty. English finishes at the rim, back and forth we go. Blue Devils back in front by one. Jackson being guarded by Vashon. Dumps it down low to Colpert. Washburn on the cut. Found himself alone in the lane, and he lays it in. Six points in the quarter for Nathan Washburn. He all of a sudden has nine in the game. Cougars back in front by one. Bernard, three, no good. Colpert with the rebound. Picked up the rebound, forced to pass up to Jackson. Jackson over the timeline. Alfred back to Jackson, over to Colpert. Swinging around the perimeter. Calvin Watson far side. Alfred will back it down now. And he'll kick it all the way out to VJ Jackson. 4.13 left to go, third quarter. Jackson, a little bit of a double team there. Three on its way from Watson, short. Watson goes after it, can't track down his own rebound. Vashon quickly up ahead to Bernard who lays it in. That long shot by Watson led to a long rebound and a breakout for Gross Point South. Two teams trading jabs here in this third quarter. Both teams looking for the knockout punch. Alfred telegraphed the pass. Carter Richards goes up, 
flushes it down. Jackson drives up, shoveled up a shot, no good. Here comes Bernard, streaking down the right wing side. Oh, big block shot by Washburn. But it's Alex English to clean it up for the Blue Devils. And now a costly turnover by the Cougars. You get the sense that this could be a turning point in this basketball game. A 6-0 run for the Blue Devils. Make it a 9-0 run. Anthony Bernard from distance. Coach Tokyo needs a timeout. Need to talk things over. Thirty second timeout to stop the momentum. Keep up with everything MHSAA on social media. Look us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube for tournament updates, event announcements, video highlights, and high school sports news from around the state of Michigan. It's the best way to connect with the MHSAA every day. Nine-0 run capped off by the Anthony Menard triple. Big man Alex English, six foot eight senior, second team all Mac Red, with a couple buckets here in this third. Back to the drawing board now for the Dakota. Some big time costly turnovers in this third frame. Jackson, they need him to get going. He's been held off the score sheet. Alfred goes up, scoops and scores. Pretty bucket there for the senior. Nice drawn up play out of that timeout. Needs some stops on the defensive end. Carter Richards being harassed by Alfred. Pass through the hands of Oku. He was able to save it to Vashan. Grosse Point South will regroup now. Carter Richards over to Bernard in the corner. Misses short. Owen Colpert quickly up ahead. Has to adjust because Carter Richards was back. And now we're going to get a blocking call. Carter Richards got himself underneath the basket. Head coach Steve Bernard seeking clarification. Is they're going to call that a shooting foul. Now the only way this was a shooting foul is if it was a late whistle. As Owen Colpert was the Cougar player that attacked the basket. Carter Richards got back defensively, tried to set his feet, tried to draw the charge. Steve Bernard giving a long leash in that coach's box as he was all the way over at the scorer's table. So Colpert able to knock down both. Four quick ones for the Cougars. They've worked themselves back into this game, now trailing just by four, 36-32. Vashan thought about the triple, turns it down. Bernard around the screen, crosses over Alfred. He can't get it to fall, perhaps trying to do a little bit too much. Watson draws the double team, able to pass out of it. Washburn skips it over to Colpert. Little 12-footer is good as it rattles home. Colpert, phenomenal game thus far. 16 points for the senior. Coming off a 15-point performance against Port here on Northern. Air ball out of the hands of Vashan. Saved by the Blue Devils, Uku. Throws it into the backcourt, and this will be a backcourt violation against the Blue Devils. And 
This pass will go all the way in the backcourt for Watson. Tracked it down like a wide receiver. Thought about the three. Goes over to Keelan Jackson into the game. Dumps it down low. Washburn, the up and under. Tie ball game. 36-36. Let's go back to that timeout that Coach Toko took. My, oh, my, how the Cougars have responded. Trailed by four, entering this third quarter. Now deadlocked at 36 apiece. Alex English over to Vachon, a little trigger happy. Vincent Vachon, the sophomore, has yet to score in this game. Carter Richards out of control, and they're going to say he traveled. Cougar basketball. Eight straight by Dakota. An opportunity here to take the lead. Under 10 seconds left to go. Keelan Jackson falling away. And an opportunity now for Gross Point South to take the final shot of this quarter. As the Cougars rush on Matthew Bomarito, replacing Owen Colpert. Allen Browning comes into the game as well for Kelvin Watson. Dakota momentarily had six players on the court. Some late substitutions allowed. Now, finally, it appears we're set to go. Anthony Bernard will trigger. Baseball pass to English. The old Christian Leitner play as Carter Richards can't hit from distance. Well, 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 three quarters in the books. 36-36, everything we could ask for and more here tonight in this regional semifinal. We'll keep it right here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television and let you know that the love of the game draws us to sports as players, coaches, spectators, and officials. For officials, it's a way to stay in the game they once played, to feel the thrill of putting on the uniform, stepping onto the playing surface, hustling to make the call, and building the relationships which can only be built in sports. If you still have that love for the game, we always need new officials. Register now at MHSAA.com. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational Athletics. Nathan Washburn, eight points in that third quarter. Owen Colpert with six. Colpert now with 16 in the game. Dakota outscoring the Blue Devils. 16-12 in that third quarter. Gross Point South, the opening possession of the fourth quarter. Carter Richards with the basketball. Noah Steyer back in the game after picking up that technical foul. Vachon with a little jab step. Steyer straightaway three, good. Steyer's second triple of the game gives the Blue Devils a three point edge. Been a game of runs here this evening. Owen Colpert kicks it out to Watson. Watson drives, floats a pass back to Colpert along the baseline. Holds the basketball, now begins to attack. What a play by Lorenzo Alfred. The unselfish pass, the no looker to Washburn. Washburn, the catalyst here in this second half of play. He has been matched up down low with Alex English all night long. 
And it's been a battle between the bigs. Steyer with a handoff. Bernard hasn't really been himself. Here comes the double team. Bernard passes out of it. Saved momentarily by Steyer, but out of bounds. Possession of the Cougars. Steyer banged himself hard on the floor as he took a dive to the hardwood. Good heads up recognition defensively there by the Cougars to apply that double team to Anthony Bernard. Bernard with 13. Alfred cross court pass to Jackson. Being guarded by Vachon. Jackson begins to work. Now defers over to Alfred. Alfred dumps it down low to Colpert. Tough angle. Follows up his missile to make. Cougars just battling here tonight. They want it. Cliche is it's hard to beat a team three times in one season. Well, it must be darn near impossible to beat a team four times in one year, right? That's what the Blue Devils are trying to do here tonight. They are trying to beat Dakota for the fourth time, twice in the regular season, once in the back red-white crossover tournament. Now the fourth time coming in the regional semifinal. Bernard fouled in the act of shooting. We'll go to the line to shoot two. A perfect four for four from the line here tonight. Bernard, first team all state a season ago. Gonna play division one basketball at Mercer next year. Peter Oku, the sixth man for head coach Stephen R checks in. Alex English will take a seat. Forty forty, our score. Five twenty four left to go. Oh boy, that freebie hanged on the front of the iron seemingly forever before deciding to fall. Bernard, perfect six for six now from the line, has given his Blue Devils the one point lead. 41 40. 5 10 left in regulation. A little step through by Colpert. Turns it over. Euro stepping through the lane. Carter Richards was fouled on the floor by VJ Jackson. Jackson's first. Just the fourth on the Cougars. Gross Point South, hardly any foul trouble for them. Just two team fouls for the Blue Devils. Bernard over to Oku. Not a threat to shoot. Dakota recognizes that. Bernard begins his attack. And now fouled on the floor by Kelvin Watson. This was a Gross Point South team that went 11 and 11 last season, just four and six in the MAC Red. They returned everybody from that squad. They started out the season 0 and 2. They were down a couple starters to begin the year, and since that 0 and 2 start, they have gone 20 and 2. Carter Richards knocking down the three pointer, and Gross Point South lead. Four, 44, 40. Five straight now for Gross Point South after Dakota took the lead. Colpert unable to convert, got the offensive rebound. Dakota has owned the glass here tonight. That's Steyer's fourth. Steve Bernard not happy with that call. Letting his frustration show. Steyer will have to take a seat with those four personals. Alfred, back out to VJ Jackson. Gets the play call from head coach Paul Toko. Owen oh, Culper just took a shot to the face there on Carter Richards. Richards, money away, got in the way with two. 
before finally getting called for the blocking call. And now head coach Steve Bernard is going to take a timeout. And I think this timeout's mainly to voice his frustration with the officials. As he had felt that Noah Steyer had clearly and cleanly, more importantly, boxed out. So Colpert and Dakota, once they take the floor, will have free throws coming up. In fact, Colpert will have two. 44 40, our score. Groves Point South in front, 406 left to go in regulation. So glad you decided to tune us in here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. So glad you decided to tune us in all season long as we brought you the sights and sounds from this D Dakota Gymnasium as well as lots of action over at Chippewa Valley. It's been a pleasure to bring you these games all season long. Never wanted to see the season to end, so hopefully Dakota can come from behind a little bit of their own March Madness and set up a date with De LaSalle in a couple nights from now. So after the timeout, Colpert calmly and coolly drops both free throws. He's now five for five from the line. He's got 20 to lead all Cougar scorers. And now Carter Richards stepped over top of Lorenzo Alfred. And that's what's gonna get the Dakota fans so upset. Lorenzo Alfred can't believe the call. And now the student section here at Dakota is gonna voice their frustrations. Can't repeat, unfortunately, what they're chanting. I'm sure our microphones might have picked it up, however. Now they're gonna clean up a little bit of sweat that dropped. Lorenzo Alfred. Can I have a little confab with one of the officials and hopefully get a little bit of clarification on what exactly he did wrong. He's, he's kind of pantomiming right now how he was set up defensively. The fans in attendance really took exception to the fact that Carter Richards kind of stepped over top of Lorenzo Alfred. And a terrific inbound play to find English. English with double digits now, he's got 10. Colpert gets the screen, turns it down from Washburn. Now picks up the dribble. Good defense being displayed by the Blue Devils. Watson's three, it's the side of the backboard. Maybe not the look the Cougars wanted there. Bernard. Oku, Richards, no good. Big miss there out of the right hand of Carter Richards. And now Dakota will take a timeout. It'll be a 30 second timeout. Yep, check that. Coach Toko gonna switch it to a full timeout. Broadcast of today's game is a copyrighted presentation of the Michigan High School Athletic Association and Chippewa Valley Cable Television. No reproduction, retransmission, or other distribution of the descriptions or accounts of this game may take place without the express written consent of the MHSAA and Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Gross Point South has been on cruise control all season long. We've mentioned 20 and two in their last 22 games. A little bit of a surprising loss to the Eisenhower Eagles in the Mac Red White Crossover Championship game. Eisenhower, the four seed out of the Mac White ended up making the championship game and beating Gross Point South. Final score 64-56. One of the more shocking losses this season. 
in the Macomb Area Conference. V.J. Jackson asking for a reach-in call. Doesn't get it, but the Cougars will retain possession as that ball was last touched by the Blue Devils. Jackson still withheld, withheld without any points in this basketball game after a 16-point performance in their win against Port Huron Northern. Watson tried the scoop shot, no good. Crunch time now, Bernard will walk it up to the floor. Goes over to his right wing side, Bernard outside, Carter Richards now, left wing side. Richards draws a double team. Oku trying to pass out of it. Tremendous defense there by Alfred to come in and help. Alfred saved it along the sideline. Jackson over to Watson. Extra pass to Colpert. Colpert, the step back three is good! What a play by the Cougars! All started with the save by Lorenzo Alfred. Keeping that possession alive. The extra pass out to Colpert who knocked down the triple. Under two minutes now left to go in regulation. Blue Devils up one, 46-45. Carter Richards directing traffic. Asks Zulku to go camp out in the corner. Now defers over to Bernard. Bernard backs down, looks over at his head coach. Gets the play call. Being guarded by Watson. Okul supplies the screen. They switch defensively. Watson back on Bernard. Skips it over to Vashon in the corner. In and out. Alfred comes down with the rebound and was fouled. Fifth team foul on Gross Point South. Foul against Carter Richards. It's his fourth. Show Steyer and Richards now, both saddled with four personal fouls. What a game, everything we could have hoped for in this regional semifinal. Colpert, the hot hand right now for Dakota. Begins the attack, splits a couple of defenders and left it short. Bernard with the rebound, Alfred, quick tie up, quick tie up or a timeout? What is it? It's a tie up possession arrow, Dakota. Possession arrow, Dakota. Lorenzo Alfred with back-to-back -back key plays for the Cougars. Sacrificing the body, getting down and dirty. 58.7 seconds left to go. Dakota basketball. They trail by one, 46-45. Gross Point South does have one more foul to give. Alfred with the catch out of the inbound play. They go back to Kelvin Watson. Watson looks over at his home bench. Crossover dribble. Owen Colpert on this near side. Being guarded by Richards and Colpert traveled. Richards to Triggle, Trigger, finds Vashon. Over to Anthony Bernard. See how long the Cougars go without falling. That's probably the guy you want to put on the line, Alex English. This is the guy you do not want to put on the line. Anthony Bernard draws it back out. Now the Cougars have no choice but to fall. Anthony Bernard. A perfect six for six from the free throw line. It'll be a one and one. 20.2 left. Lorenzo Alfred picking up the foul. His third. Bernard's first is through. Seven for seven now from the free throw line.
Eight for eight. And Dakota will take a timeout to talk things over. 22.2 seconds left to go. Cougars down three. It'll be a full timeout, 48-45, our score. Owen Colpert with 23 points. Washburn has thrown in 13, including 10 here in the second half. Cougars gonna look back at that last offensive possession. Down one with the basketball. Owen Colpert, when it appeared, is getting ready to go. When he was getting ready to attack the rim, shuffled his feet, took too many steps, got called for the turnover, the traveling violation, and South via Anthony Bernard was able to make both of their free throws. Lead extended to three, 48-45. Oku, Bernard, Bashan, Richards, and English come out for South. Washburn, Colpert, Watson, Alfred, Jackson. The five starters will counter here for Dakota. What did head coach Paul Toko draw up in that timeout? Little three-quarter court pressure by Gross Point South. They do have a foul to give. Watson catches in front of his home bench, and here comes the foul to give. Well, now the question becomes, do you foul up three? And perhaps that will be the discussion that takes place because Girls Point South has just called a timeout. Well, we have seen the scenario play out throughout college basketball games this season. Michigan State, Iowa comes to mind. Tom Izzo not following up three. Came back to cost them as Iowa nailed a three-pointer to force overtime. Wisconsin, Michigan comes to mind. Wisconsin not following up three. Hunter Dickinson has a prayer answered to force overtime. What will Steve Bernard do here up three? Do they foul and put Dakota on the line for a one and one. One would think Dakota here down three will either look for a quick basket attacking the net quickly or will hold for a terrific three point look. Alfred to inbound. Gonna have to get this pass in or take a timeout. Owen Colpert pulls up, three on its way for the tie, no good. Long rebound to Jackson. Last touch by Gross Point South. Two seconds left. And we're gonna get a timeout called. As Steve Bernard, all the way up to the coach's box, limits once again. Didn't agree with the call. And had to get brought back by his coaching staff. It'll be a full timeout. Cougars have no timeouts remaining. Two seconds up on the big board. Gross Point South didn't foul with nine seconds left on the clock. One would think they can't afford to foul here because the Cougars will have to jack up a three in a hurry. So it was Colpert who took the last three. He's the hot hand. He's the senior for Dakota. He's the player that Gross Point South will more than likely focus their attention to defensively. Here we go. Both teams come out of the timeout. Two seconds. 
It'll be VJ Jackson to trigger. Three from half court and the tie. No good. Owen Colpert couldn't get it to fall. And Gross Point South survives and advances. Final score, 48-45. One heck of a ball game here tonight in this regional semifinal. Congratulations to the Gross Point South Blue Devils as they will take on the De La Salle Pilots in the regional championship game, the round of 16. A terrific effort here tonight for the Cougars as they fall short. Once again, final score 48-45 for my terrific camera crew tonight, Deej and Dominic. I'm Brad Fetter saying goodbye one final time this season from Dakota High School. Once again, your final score in this regional semifinal, the Girls Point South Blue Devils 48, our Dakota Cougars 45. Thank you mo so much, folks, for watching all season long right here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. We will see you next year.